Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm having one of those ooh, one of those mornings where I was like, oh my gosh, my messy bun that actually is a messy bun that I kind of woke up with looks cute. And then now I'm sitting here and I'm like, but does it? I don't know. Uh, the, the hair might be a disaster today, but we're gonna get through this video, try out some cool new products, and the makeup's gonna look good. I have high hopes for this. I kind of have an idea of how most of this is gonna work out. I just thought it was such a cute collaboration, so we are diving right into swatching, testing, trying the new Maybelline and Puma collaboration. I love the Puma sweatshirts, and I always thought in the back of my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I would get in like the biggest trouble ever if I did merch that had like a jumping Maltese and it said Puka and I it's like this stupid joke but I'm like I need some like Puka merch that looks like Puma maybe that needs to happen um, anyway you guys I was planning on ordering this stuff sometimes I get things from Maybelline sometimes I don't like to be honest ever since the whole Gigi Hadid thing it's kind of it's kind of touch and go with me and Maybelline and my mouth gets me in trouble. My honesty here on my channel gets me in trouble sometimes. I make my videos for you. I make my videos to give my real opinions and that's just where it is. So um, long story short, I was fully intending on ordering this collection, but I was so happily surprised that I got it in the mail this morning. And once again, I kind of rearranged videos that I was gonna film and I'm like, nope, we're hopping into this one right now because I wanna try it all. I wanna swatch it all. That highlighter looks so, so gorgeous. Mm, it's gonna be dreamy. It's gonna be like a very highlighty, dreamy, dreamy kind of shiny cheek day. I can just feel it. So cheers, good morning. Let's get into the makeup. All right, Maybelline with your, ooh, that is really pretty though, right? Do we see this? Whoa. Uh, Maybelline has not gotten the memo yet about being a little less wasteful with their packaging. I feel so professional and just like ready for this. Um, I am going to a meeting today. This makes me laugh. Every freaking time that I have a meeting, I am always trying something for the first time. Like I always end up doing those videos on days when I'm gonna be like in a conference room and like everybody look at me. I am the authority in beauty and I review products. And I always hope that my makeup looks great and then sometimes like, ugh, sometimes it just doesn't. So fingers crossed. Um, this little plastic gym bag is actually super, super cute. I love that. Um, this right here is giving off major Glossier vibes. Let's just call it what it is. Glossier always gives you like this pink little plastic pouch like this with their products that I love and I use them for travel. This is actually what I am the most excited for. This is the shade Knockout. It's a new shade. You guys, you know how much I love these. You know that I think this is one of the greatest drugstore highlights and I am so excited. I love the kind of neon -y orange with purple, the champagne, the whole color palette here I am so into. And the price range on these, I believe is gonna be anywhere from $9 to 13 or 14. I was not able to track down prices online. This is that new, new. This line will be available in Ulta in March, but you can order it online prior to then February 8th. Okay, we're just gonna like dive right on in to this guy right here. I'm gonna be like matchy matchy with my little Jeffrey brush. How cute. Oh my God. Oh, it's really satisfying. I will never forget running into a subscriber in Palm Springs and she was like, oh, what are you wearing as highlighter? And I'm like, well, I can only pack one when I come out here to the desert because you know, I'm trying to be a minimal, um, can I be minimal? No, but I try to. So I only packed one highlighter and I was like so proud of that. Like who's proud of that? I'm proud of that. So I was like, it's Maybelline. It's the best highlighter. Like go get it, you'll love it. And then later on she was like, I watch your channel. I know that you like that one. And I almost feel like, ooh, like you were testing me a little bit, but um, we had a, a quick laugh about it. And she's like, I am gonna go get that highlighter. It's so nice. Like it looks so pretty. And I was literally giving like a review for like three minutes straight about why the highlighter was so good. And I mean, you guys can see this right here. Dang, you don't need to spend $30. Just stroll on down to your drugstore, Target, online, Ulta, 
wherever you get this, just ooh. Beam me up, I'm done. I just feel like, all right, we're good to go to my meeting now. All I needed was a little highlight and that's about it. Uh, this is definitely A plus and beyond. Look how smooth that is. Ugh, my hand is all still like scratched up. I hate that so much. I lost my swatch hand. Um, you guys, whoa, stop. That is perfect. That is like probably my new favorite. Love it so, so much. Okay, this right here is a face duo gloss. I am not into this at all. We're just not even gonna try this. Anything that is a gloss stick for the face, I'm like, thank you, next. I don't want this. I don't want anything to do with it. I don't want gloss like clogging up my pores and being greasy on my face. Like, I want this angelic, like, hi, I'm like a pretty glow, that kind of a thing. I don't like gloss sticks. And they do have a contour duo that is the same shape, obviously different color than what you're seeing right here. I don't really like that one. So this I'm gonna put in a donation pile. We're gonna continue the journey here. There's more to go. So we have a mascara, definitely gonna try that out. Um, and then we have some eye products right here. So they brought out these matte metallic eye stick duos. This is new. I have not seen these before. Um, you know, obviously the highlighter and the lip stuff that we're gonna get to, those are things we've seen from Maybelline in the past, but this is new. Okay, that is really very, very pretty. Ooh, so there's four different shades here. I am gonna take the duo Warrior and Flow, and that is what I am going to use to start out with. But let's just take a look at the swatches really quickly because these are surprisingly very, very pretty. Like the combos are great. The smoothness and the feel from them from what I can gather on the back of my hand, really nice. So we also have the shade Heat and Flash, number five. Discipline and Pulse, number two. Goals and Courage, number four. So we're gonna go ahead and first go in with this kind of taupey one right here. And I'm gonna go in with the matte side first. I really like cream shadows. You know, if you're someone that just does not wanna fuss a lot, they can be super helpful, really easy to work with. And generally once they dry down, they wear for a really long time. I kind of feel like Charlotte Tilbury right now. Like, have you guys ever seen any of her videos doing uh, smoky eye really fast? Like even on herself, it will inspire you and amaze you. She literally just is like, like that and just like smudges it out. And it's like, oh, okay, glamor queen in 30 seconds. It's really something else. And whenever I'm working with a product like this, that's like the only thing that I think of. I feel like I need something just like a little bit richer, so on top of that, I'm gonna go in with the brown from Heat and Flash. It's more of like a plummy kind of a shade, and I'm gonna grab it off the back of my hand onto this brush right here. This is the Precision 4D HD. This is turning into a smoky eye really quickly, shoot. Gosh dang it, Tati. The dry down is pretty quick with this. You don't have a ton of time to work, so work fast. <laughs> this is not blending as amazing as I would like it to. And I keep getting these little like balled up like bits of it. I don't know. I think I liked these more swatched. If you see like it dried down really quickly on the edge there, but this is pretty, wow. Okay, and now I like it again. This is gonna drive me nuts over here. I need to go in the crease with something to kind of remedy what's going on there. I'm gonna go in with this right here, similar taupey shade from NARS and just try to smooth things out a little bit. All right, so that smoothed out a fair amount of the problem. I 
I don't know that we're gonna achieve much more than just that with these guys. I would say this one right here, discipline and pulse needs to be disciplined because uh, the darker side on here does not want to play nice and blend. And then the purple is just a little bit too dulled down. The other one I prefer so much more where you have this like very bright, really fun metallic purple. The taupe, it's an interesting color. Uh, I feel like you need a little more to kind of really add depth, but this is not a bad one. The other one I kind of wish I hadn't gone in with because it did kind of end up giving me a blending issue out here. But we're gonna see how this wears. I am very, very curious still. I'm gonna add a little bit of the gold from the shade Heat and Flash. We're gonna do kind of a warm and cool kind of a vibe here. I actually really love these kind of coppery shades in the waterline. It doesn't really look like much is there, but in the light, it kind of just grabs it and makes the eyes look really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I think let's just pop on some mascara and see what the mascara formula is all about. I already have my lashes curled, so we're just gonna go right in. This is smudge resistant mascara. All right, let's see what we can achieve. This mascara is really nice. I made a little bit of a mistake right here that I'm gonna have to wait till that dries and kind of scratch it off. It built pretty nicely. I don't love it as much as I do my Collab Beauty, which you guys are probably so, so sick of hearing about. So I'm just gonna hush for a moment on that one and we're gonna move into lips. Oh, pfft. wow. All right, so these are Liquid Lip Superstay Matte Ink. Should we just go in? I kind of want to. Let's do it. I actually oddly super love this color. What? James is gonna hate this so much. He does not like these kind of colors at all. Oh well, sorry James. Um, this color just made me feel like a hundred times sassier and more powerful than I actually am. And I am so good with that. I think I wanna wear this one because it's like the most dangerous of this bunch. I wanna wear this today. I wanna see if it patches off with lunch, which I'm about to go chow down. If it does, we will revisit and either touch up or try on a different shade. But let's take a look at all five of them up close right now, swatched for your viewing pleasure. We have the shade Unstoppable, Unapologetic, Epic, Fearless, and then the one I am wearing right now, which is the shade Fierce. That's perfect. This is a fierce shade. Like this is very much, I need a lip liner to kind of even things out, but it's a very, whoa, she means business kind of a shade, right? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go give James like a big smooch. He's gonna be like, what are you wearing? What is happening? Um, so maybe I should just go and, and kind of get his opinion of my business makeup and we will go from there. So it's kind of 50, 50, you guys. Like I am so here for this highlighter. I love it so much. I think everyone, would look good in this kind of a shade. Like it's just that peachy, glimmery, beautiful shade. So they did it so right with this one. I like the mascara, not as much as some of my others, but it wasn't a bad mascara. The cream eyeshadow, guys, ugh, not my favorite. And this is actually like so intensely pigmented and such a rich color that I kind of love it right now. So 50-50, that's where we're at. I'm gonna go do my day, take you with me, and we will see how all of this wears and figure out what we love, what we don't by the end of it. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. And I decided to sit here and fuss a little bit more. So I ended up putting the cream shadow on top of the liquid lip. I kind of like it. I think it's fun. I was sitting here getting carried away. So now I really am gonna go do my day. I'll check in with you guys in a bit. So we were early to our meeting and there's a Sally's Beauty nearby. There was like a big billboard. So I was like, that is where I need to stop because she needs more mascara. This mascara is not doing it for me. Um, really the only thing at this point that's like do doing it for me is the highlighter. Yeah, 
the lip I had to take off. I ate lunch and it was just like, no, black, like dark plum black lips with like cracks in it and like oil splotches. I was like, mm -mm, we're not doing that. So I put my Zara lipstick on. I will link that video below uh, just because I needed something really fast, really fast to get the job done. All right, let's go to Sally's. Ooh, this is nice lighting. It's making my makeup look better. Nope, now it's crap again. All right, we're on the hunt for the mascara, which is... Wait, I haven't tried this one. I feel like I need this. <laughs> what is it? It's a mister. I think that it'll spit at you. It's gonna be what I've been missing my whole life. You're, You're so optimistic. All right. They think so too. <laughs> um, ooh, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Sally's. Ooh, I can be damaged in 10 minutes. Oh my god, I've been wanting to. I have this. Guys, thumbs this video. <laughs> if you want me to try that. It is many hours later, I'm representing, I've been busy today, I'm in my casual favorite. I really love Puma, I feel like they make good hoodies and I like their stuff. I think this is a very cute collaboration, I love the color setup, I love the packaging, I'm really, really into neon, like it's having a moment again. I remember um, when I first started YouTube, like people were wearing neon pants, neon pink pants, neon green, it was like a trend, it was huge for a moment, and then it went away, and I remember thinking like, ew, neon is so gross, ew, bleh. like what were we all thinking? And then now, um, I just bought neon nail polish, which is totally what I'm doing later tonight. Anyway, um, yeah, long story short, I'm back into this kind of like little hint of neon, like right here with the Maybelline Puma. I think that coupled with these like beautiful creamy neutrals is a very special look and I like it. So aesthetically, this whole collection is very pleasing to the eye. Love the highlighter. I would have gone with a lighter hand. I flipped down the mirror of truth. The lighting is very different in the real world as compared to my studio. So sometimes it just like smacks me in the face and I'm like, oh no, that was a bad idea. It's like I dip in and I just can't stop. I can't stop. Like I'm also that person with chapstick that you'll see like 30 seconds later and you're like, dude, have you had enough? And I'm just like, no, it's so good. I don't know, I just like, I like putting on highlighter and I overdo it, I guess is what I'm getting at. Next time I will use a more responsible approach. <laughs> I really like the shade of this highlighter. I love this highlighter. You guys know the Master Chrome A plus across the board. So, so good. Um, moving on the eyeshadows. Uh, um, some are better than others. I think this gold right here is actually very pretty. You know, the darker shades that are matte, I think blend horribly. I really did love the iridescent purple. That was really special. Um, I think this would be something that you would maybe want to incorporate more with powder eyeshadows. On its own, it was kind of blotchy, but the redemption here, because there is one, is that my eyeshadow looks great and it's been many hours and it's still on there nice and tight. So I will leave this one kind of up to you guys. What do you think? Are you like going crazy for a double ended cream stick? Cool concept, like the packaging, some are better than others. Moving on, the mascara is just like kind of so-so. I ended up going to Sally's and uh, restocking my very favorite mascaras and I got like two other formulas within the Collab Beauty line to try out that I have not tried out yet, so I'm really excited about that. Nothing compares to it. So like I put on a mascara like this and I'm just like, it's good, I guess. Like it's, it's fine, it's not terrible, but it's not, it's not my heart. It's not like the full, you know? So that's this. Um, and then the lipsticks, you guys. I wanna try on this color right here. Uh, it blotched off pretty crazy. And I will say this, like look at my lips. They're so dry. It dried them out really badly. My lips hurt. But let's put on more, cause we need to see the colors. Okay, so I'm gonna put on this one. Oh my God. God, it looks like a baby's diaper. Ugh. It's reminding me of that one time a little girl I nannied for had a diaper explosion at the park. Like I took her in her stroller all the way to the park. We get there within like 30 seconds back home into the tub, you know, that whole situation. Oh, I can't wait to be a mom. That's what this is making me think of, diapers. 
Actually, I do really like that. I, I really love that color. I take everything negative that I just said that was disrespectful to this shade because I think this is really pretty. This is the shade Unapologetic. And it's unapologetically kind of weird initially, but then it's like, let me amaze you. Um, these guys will really dry out your lips. They're a little bit sticky. If you eat something that is too oily, which I did today, it will blotch off. However, the colors are stunning. The applicator allows you to put on a nice even layer and really get up to your lip line. If you don't like chow down, they do wear a really long time. The only negative is that stickiness. See? Oh my God. That is everything I have to say surrounding this launch, the packaging because I love purple, drew me in. Um, Puma, love Puma, love Puma. And Maybelline has some great products, also drew me in. So it was an interesting collab. These really are kind of recycled items they already have just with new packaging. I don't personally take issue with that. I don't think every single you know collaboration or launch has to be like, wow, innovation. I think it's really fun to see your favorite items in new colors, a fresh palette, a different fun packaging and all of that play. I think it's fun, you know? So so if you see a few items that you think would be fitting for you, then go for it. You know, everything's between nine and $14. The highlight's my favorite for sure. And that's where we are gonna land it. I have very important things to do tonight. So I'm gonna paint my nails neon and um, catch up on The Bachelor because that is important in my life. All right, boom, I gotta get out of here. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being so awesome. You guys have just been the best in the comments and on Twitter, on IG, on Snap, just everywhere. I'm having the best time doing what I'm doing, reviewing makeup and just being with you and it's a, it's a good time. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. It's the right thing to do if you enjoy a video. It shows appreciation and I appreciate it. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave me those comments and ring my bell, subscribe, do all of that jazz. I will see you guys here again soon. I'm here Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 10 a.m. PST. Come back and hang out. And other than that, go and have a good one. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.